so 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 in this session we will create a job requisition so you will learn a lot let's start so to create a job requisition always you remember if you want to create anything just type create then uh, what do i want to create job rec you don't need to type the full because you will see the task will come up so basically we're looking for this job requisition right click on that simple now see uh, we have a great option copy details from existing job requisition and normally we rarely uh, create something from the scratch because it's you don't need to do that because most of the jobs are repeat uh, repeat i mean you will see if there's a requirement on workday uh, you will see that the company would have posted something similar earlier so you can always reuse it let's see what we can reuse my job requisitions or requisitions by organization <clears throat> let's say i wanna uh, so whatever you want to use it use it so if something's useful let's say on this one so it's nothing is there just see based on data whatever you want to use it so let's say i want to create based on this for uh, so uh, is it for existing positions or do i want to create a new position right so for existing or new so you can you have the option to choose it right so if you want to choose for existing position you have to give the for existing position and all that stuff or uh, if you want to create a new position just say new position and worker type is employee or contract worker contingent right so just say okay so here we go this is the next form so see here workers interested in this job all right so even before applying we can see some stuff which is really good great so a lot of good thing uh, let's just fill up all this stuff how many positions do i need uh i need 10 positions so you fill it up give the reason whatever you want to um reason you want to give the reason type and all those stuff and yeah the talent hire date where you want to hire when you want to hire i mean and uh, all these details you just need to fill up you understand right so just fill up all this stuff uh, most of them are self-explanatory like summary of course job description you know this because when you're applying you can see a description so that's the same stuff here and the mandatory location the location type time all that thing i'm not going deeper into that you know why it's a bit boring a uh, bit boring means i just want to show you important stuff because these things you can do it by yourself so education if you want to add education normally we don't do the education one we normally leave it blank yeah language you can give english certifications if you want work experience and looking for specific work experience like let's say techno functional consultant on work day uh, dot, 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 something so you can give that and responsibility skill training details all that stuff organizations you can give call center if uh, call center becomes useful when you're hiring from the same organization or uh, from different one if you're hiring you can do on anything right let's just sum it if we have missed some mandatory details then it will through an error right so you can see here through the error company is required call center is required yeah call center see uh, you need to actually mention the call center because uh, see uh, sometimes there will be project there will be three four five i mean not sometimes mostly there will be different different projects like five ten projects are running or let's say there is a um, finance department in a company let's say like um, ibm some company so to which department this call center will apply that you need to mention it is important you can't see there is nothing like job requirement for a particular company i mean it is for a department in the company okay so just give all this stuff company is needed just uh, select uh, 
organizations by by hierarchy let's just say this one the cost center let's say I want to charge it to this requirement is for 3v education services uh, let's say anything for which it's created then just say to say okay so and the region is let's say Asia Pacific Uh, we can make it I think we have not entered on this one okay anyways so I need to fix this one I need to um, import the locations all the locations then it's that will be fine and yeah you fill up all those things and then once you do it it's done that's the job requisition document and that thing will be can be uploaded to different job portals and that's how then then you have seen uh, like when people start responding and then we can track all of that in this thing okay that's it guys that's it guys thank you very much for this session hope this was useful thank you very much